Unless you have been living under a rock for the past week, you should know that Meta has released Threads, a brand new social media platform that allows users to post written content, videos, and pictures to share to their social media followers, kind of like Twitter. It's derived from your Instagram account, and given that Instagram Reels have really changed the way that video content is delivered in 23, it's only natural to ask how much can Threads do for you if you're a video creator? Well, today we're going to run over some core information you need to know about uploading videos directly to Threads. Now, one of the very first ways that you can share video content to Threads is from your Instagram account directly. So what you would do is find an Instagram Reel or an IGTV video, select the share icon, which is the paper plane, press share, then go to the Threads icon and then select post. Now, there is one thing to know. This is not publishing a watchable video on Threads itself. Upon clicking the post, users will then be directed straight back to Instagram where they can watch the video. So what is the benefit of this? Well, at the moment at least, Threads will only allow videos up to five minutes in length. So if you have long form content that you would typically post on YouTube, then also share to Instagram, well, it's not gonna work on this platform. So what is? Well, simply to share it organically from the video straight from your phone to the Threads app where it's then watchable. To do this, you're gonna select the new post icon and then select the attachment icon, the paperclip, and there find the video from your phone folder. Simply click add and then post. Now I am writing for Devo test, but I'm purposely misspelling it. And that is for a reason that you will soon see. So upon posting, the image plays back. And at the moment, I do have to say, I think the image quality is slightly better than Instagram, but that might just be some bias from a brand new toy, but we will soon see. So of course, I've spelt Fedevo test wrong, it says Fedevo Gog, rest. <laughs> so let's correct that. Okay, so this is another thing to know. Once you've posted a thread, you can actually edit it. Unlike Instagram, where we can go back in and edit the information, Threads is somewhat borrowing the idea from Twitter, but once it's posted, it cannot be edited. Therefore, be very careful with your typos and spelling when uploading a video. So let's delete that. And instead, I'm gonna go back into my video folder and I'm going to upload a 16 by nine video, which is your typical widescreen video format. Uh, this time around, I'm gonna be sure not to misspell the post's content. And once done, I'm gonna select post. Okay, it's uploaded. I select it to get the full screen experience. However, of course, as a 16 by nine resolution, we'd want to rotate the phone in order for the video to fill the entire phone's width. However, in doing so, we can see that it does follow Instagram's principles where rotating a phone will not get the video to rotate also as if you were watching this on a platform like YouTube or something similar. Therefore, while 16 by nine may be the more cinematic, better format to post video content towards, Threads, quite like Instagram, is primarily geared towards the nine by 16 resolution. So let's go back into my video folder and I'm gonna post this video, which is a, a video reel that I posted not so long ago on my Instagram account of my dog, Toby, exploring the local ruins. Once uploaded, I can rotate the phone and I can get the full screen image. And in fact, may I day say so, it looks a lot better than it does on Instagram reels. And this is primarily because on Instagram Reels, we are not able to hide the user interface for the likes, the comments, the shares, and, and even the video information. A lot of the time, we can see it takes up at least one third of the screen and it makes it quite dirty. And when you're uploading video content like this, which has been filmed on a camera where you want to present the visual quality, it's not too ideal. Whereas on threads, we get a much cleaner looking image. Therefore, if you do intend to upload on threads, I would recommend in uploading the nine by 16 format and whether or not you're gonna keep that vertical or horizontal, the choice is yours, but you are obtaining a far cleaner experience than you would on Instagram Reels. But now this comes to the final point and it's the shareability of these videos. So again, I'm gonna up the nine by 16 variation of this uh, holographic display of a new location. And it's kind of got a retro Star Wars vibe to it. So as I would on Instagram, I'm going to type in hashtag Star Wars to obtain some more views from that. However, at the moment, it is yet to be decided 
if hashtags are prevalent on this app, simply because you cannot search by hashtags in the way that you can do on Instagram. And typing in Star Wars, it does not bring up a variety of Star Wars related posts, but instead a variety of Star Wars related Instagram accounts. So at the moment, threads, in terms of searchability and whether or not you're using the conventional forms of hashtags, seems to be a little bit like the Wild West. There are no rules, but when there are no rules to go by, it may lead to more playfulness with your video content instead of trying to conform to an algorithm. Okay, well I've been Lewis with Fidevo. I hope this has been very informative for you. And if you haven't found success in sharing videos on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube Shorts, maybe Threads might be the new platform for you.